y'all for being here. But I really want to talk about New Year's resolutions. That's why I mentioned that in, about the New Year. Because, like I said, I don't get into all that. Do what you want. You got in your reality. You know how to transform that energy. But here's the thing about the New Year's resolutions for the people that I see over and over, year after year. And I just posted a video, but I just want to expand about this here. We often give ourselves a thought. A thought is just something that really don't have much momentum to it. So a bright idea, aka a thought, will come to your mind, right? And this thought might tell you, ooh, let's try something different. Let's try to be a healthier person, maybe. Let's go to the gym and sign a contract, right? This is going to be our New Year's resolution, right? And you say that. That's just a thought. It does not have that much energy because you, it was an idea. The ones that have the most energy are the ones that you made laws because you thought them over and over repetitively. That's you giving energy to something and it became a command. So the reason why a lot of people sit up there and fail on their New Year's resolution is because these people did not make that thought a command, which means they did not allow that thought to penetrate into their subconscious mind. So they do not prosper. Every year around this time, we have people in the physical reality talking about, yeah, 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 my New Year's resolution is this, and I'm gonna do this. But here comes what it is. Um, what do they call that? February 14th. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day come, and all them people, the gym be empty. They don't have no healthy people that like they said they was. They ain't better people. They wishing somebody would by the time Valentine's get here because nobody give them no chocolates and this and that and the dirt. Because they did not penetrate through their subconscious mind. So how do you penetrate to the subconscious mind? The same way you penetrated to give yourself that obesity that you have, to give that yourself that sickness you have, to run all the men or them women away like you did already in your past. Like to kind of like rinse and repeat with the same type of bad relationships, to never get that job like you ain't get. You see, you do the same thing, but the opposite feeling. You say those things inside your inner dialogue, you have to say those things over and over until it becomes a law in your subconscious mind. So for those of you who walk around and beat yourself up and say, oh, in your inner dialogue, this is the stuff that nobody don't hear. You know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. You know what you're thinking. So when you meet a new guy and in your mind, you're like, mm, he probably don't like me. Oh my gosh, he's probably looking at my stress marks. Oh, I'm fat. I need to lose this weight. Oh, he's going to cheat on me. Oh, mm. They don't have any good men out here. You see those thoughts there that you think nobody can hear? Well, guess who hears that? Your subconscious mind hears that. And that's why you keep getting those same results. You have to set a new thought in your inner dialogue, the things that you're saying to yourself. You got to start saying stuff like, mm, look at him looking at me. He want me. I don't blame him. Everybody does. I'm so beautiful. I'm so sexy. I have so much of feminine energy. Look at him wishing he had my number. Look at him. He keep passing on the street just to check me out. Hey, how you doing? You see what I mean? You have to have those kind of thoughts. Even when you're in the grocery store. Everybody in here um, is, ad is admiring me for my beauty. Look at everybody checking me out. Oh, I'm going to get into the shortest line today because everybody likes me. I might even get a discount when I get to the counter. Something's going to be 20% off. Yeah, because I'm worthy and everybody wants to treat me like a princess. You have to begin to say those things. And you also need to penetrate your subconscious mind when it is wide open, when you are about to go to sleep. I have on my YouTube channel some affirmations, some affirmations for a self-concept. It has, it has about 15,000 people and the people in the comments, their lives are changing because they're listening to it. And you have to do this. I'm sorry about that. I was getting a call. And you have to do this longer than a month. You need to go to like maybe 60 days to do this. Because here's another thing that a lot of people won't tell you. You could start off good just like the people with New Year's resolutions. You could start off good like, yeah, 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 you pumped up. But your subconscious mind is designed to protect you to stay in a certain state of being. It protects you. It's not trying to be ugly with you, but this is how it protects you to govern the laws or the commands that you gave it. So two weeks in going to the gym, two weeks in eating a new lifestyle, your subconscious mind going to be like, look, girl, you know you died. Get up out of here. 
two weeks in, listen to some new affirmations or new commands, the subconscious mind gonna be like, turn that crap off, girl, go to bed. We ain't got time for that. Two weeks in, <laughs> of, of, of at the gym, you, you know, doing the weights. Ooh, that, that don't feel right. Don't you gonna pull a muscle or something? Ooh, look, you you know you're tired. You know you want a Twinkie or Oreos or whatever. Your subconscious mind will do that. You need to understand that about it. You need to understand it about it so you could go over that. Once you get over that point or state of being, you've arrived because it does that right before you about to break through and penetrate through it with a new command. This is how it works. And then it's once you get it, give it a new command and you're prosperous with that new command, guess what? It's going to protect you again and you're going to stay in that state of being until you, once again, reprogram your mind. It's really, really easy to do, but you got to be ready. You can't be blaming it on everybody else. You got to become accountable for how you're thinking because your thoughts are running your reality. You're the operant power in your kingdom, God. So why are you not healed yet? Because you've been telling yourself that, that this is incurable? Why aren't you at the ideal weight that you want to be at yet? Because you're telling yourself secretly that you're still fat? Why aren't you in that relationship that you want yet? Because you're telling yourself that you're not lovable, maybe? Write a new story, God. Why is hell breaking loose in your kingdom, God? <laughs> because you have to learn how to be heaven in order to see heaven, God. And this is the way you become heaven by your habitual thinking. By the thoughts that you send out. Because in the biblical text, this is what it's telling you, religious people. Your word cannot come back to you void meaning my habitual thinking my assumptions cannot come back to me void if I send it out to my subconscious mind my subconscious mind has to make way for it to happen so if I'm sending out thoughts about myself that I am fat that I ain't gonna never get ahead that I'm never gonna lose this weight that oh he's judging me and he's looking at me and he doesn't like me oh he's cheating on me then my word cannot come back to me void. So he has to cheat. My reflections have to have to look at me and think I'm a, I'm too fat, I'm obese. The doctor have to tell me that you need to lose weight. I have to now get high blood pressure. It has to go in accordance to what I'm thinking because as a man think it, so is he. So if you want to go out there and set your new re new year's resolution and you want to succeed, start this way. With that habitual thinking because this is consciousness here all is mine even if you decide to go to the gym you have to make up your mind first to get up out of that bed to get in that car it's a mind over matter thing and when you change your mind then you successfully can say it's a new year and it's a new me because old things have passed away and behold all things shall become new only when you change your mind there's power in the tongue you're right about that you are so right about that. And it's going to yield to me, to you, everything that you put forth. Your command, your spoken word. And so right before you're drifting off to sleep, and when you wake up in the morning, that's the precious time to do this. Do it and over and over and over again. Just imagine, if you will, if you're 40, 50, 60 years old, you've been telling yourself this old stuff this fat stuff this sick stuff this this all men ain't no good stuff for all of those years so you got a lot of momentum built up repetitiously speaking those things so you need to get on it today you need to start practicing building up this same type of energy that you build up for them shitty thoughts build up that same type of energy for positive thoughts to change your life for good and so that way next year you ain't got to be coming up with the new year resolution of the same thing signing contracts for at the same gym and losing your money because you know you ain't gonna be there for valentine's day no more stop doing that that's insanity to do the same thing and to be in the same situation and not be healed from the same sickness our hair grow back our nails grow back True, our um our skin sheds everywhere that's what the dust is in our house our skin be shedding everything just sheds and rebuilds itself why are you still sick the intestines even even shed every three to five days you get a new lining in your in your digestive system in your stomach so how in the heck you still have irritable syndrome the new lining is still not good come on now 
If you're in the same situation over and over, it is you. And you can't be blaming other people outside of you. It is you. It is your mind. It is the fact that you didn't do the lifestyle change. It's not that all the reflections out there are, are no good. It's not that, oh, oh, this sickness is going around. No, it is only going around to those people that's vibing on the same thought frequency as you. And so that's why you see them sick, because you sick mentally. <laughs> That's why you keep attracting the people with the um, no good relationship that can't keep a relationship because you own that frequency too. Like attracts like. You only gonna attract or be around the frequency that you are emitting because your word cannot come back to you void, God. Get out of that state of being. The oh, you gotta die. This is what the biblical text was telling you anyway. The oh, you gotta die. The way you used to think you gotta die in order to be resurrected. Die. Kill that stuff. Give, give birth to a new thought. A new thought representing feminine energy. And feminine energy, being that it's, uh, um, it's thought, it gives life to other thoughts like it. So once you start thinking about, okay, I could lose this weight. I feel healthy. Then it's going to be a whole bunch of more feminine energy thoughts because that's what energy does. It reproduces. Feminine energy reproduces another thought. Oh, oh, I could lose this weight. Well, maybe I should get a, a trainer. Oh yeah, the trainers are gonna really like me. Like me, the trainers gonna really help me. Oh my gosh, I'll be able to wear a two piece in no time. Oh my God, maybe I'll go on that cruise. Oh my God, I feel so excited about this. You're just gonna be constantly going in the flow and the momentum of feminine energy, new positive thinking instead of spiraling down. Oh, I'm fat, nobody likes me. Yeah, he gonna cheat. Yeah, cause all they do is cheat. Oh, I ain't gonna get the job, yeah, she. Becky over there gonna get it cause your skin brighter. Oh, and and yeah, I ain't gonna be able to pay my mortgage. And yeah, because yeah, I lost my other apartment and I guess I'm gonna lose this one too. You know, you that's still feminine energy though. That's still giving giving life to something that's not serving you. You just going the wrong way with it. Come on to the other side, man. That's all I'm saying to you. Come on over to the other side. Let that die and be born again with your thinking. And that's when you'll have a successful New Year's resolution. That's when it all it all works out for you. When you change your mind, your way of thinking. Oh, hey, Dion, rebirth in the feminine energy. Yes, definitely, definitely. Everything is energy. It really is. Hey, teach teacher. <laughs> Love your messages. I salute you. Yes. Okay, I just really wanted to say that. I just really want to say that. Because, man, when I be seeing y'all with, with y'all feminine I mean, not the feminine, um, when y'all New Year's resolutions on the feed, I'd be like, I sure hope that mind changed. I sure hope that story has been rewritten. You know, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get over here. I was consulting with somebody. I do consultations too. So I was consulting with this lady and the first time I talked to her, she only did a uh, one-time thing. One time um, call for uh, 45 minutes and I was saying to myself, oh my gosh, this lady really needs to call me back and do the mentorship because... This lady has some stories that she need to rewrite. But on that one time call, I told her, I was like, you know, you rewrote your story, you know, cause I was trying to give her everything. I was talking fast and everything before she got off the phone to give her everything she needed to rewrite her story, to think new thoughts. And I was telling her about the subconscious mind. And she was like, I, I did that already. I did that already. And I was like, oh, okay, you did it already. Okay, well, we'll start with just talking, you know, saying the new things, you know, we're going to say new habitual thinking and we're going to give new commands, right? She called me back and she did the, um, the mentorship, which was a one week, I mean, one month, uh, talking to me twice a week, right? We get to the tail end and she said, you know what? I realized I was going through this here because of such and such somebody died. And this is why I was acting like this here. And this is why I had these trust issues in this area of my life <laughs> because I didn't rewrite that story. And I was like, I told you, I remember when you called me and I knew, I told you, if you don't rewrite that story, then you're going to come up with that issue. You're going to be on rinse and repeat. And she was like, yeah, but now I get it now. Now I understand the core of the reason why you got to figure out your reason why. And your subconscious mind is trying to show you your reason why, but you are ignoring it. 
Your reason why could be your trauma from having trust issues or your mother or your father leaving you. And you got to rewrite that story in order to tell yourself new things. Because now if you tell yourself new things and you have a story about your mama and your daddy, now your subconscious mind telling you like, girl, everybody leave you. Remember mama and daddy left you. What are you talking about? That subconscious mind, this is, this is this is why that song is a whole rap song. They say your mind playing tricks on you. That song heavily weighs in my mind when I be thinking or consulting with people. It's like your mind be playing tricks on you. But that's your subconscious mind protecting you to keep you in the state of being. So if you have to go back to when you was a little girl and mama and daddy left you to rewrite the story first and make the story seem like the best childhood of your life, Go there. Go all the way there. And then when you get out of that, rewriting that story, okay, now it's time. Now it's time to put in I am statements. Yeah, I am lovable. I am this. I am that. I am worthy. I love myself. This person loves me. See, this person loves me. Everything is working out for me. You got to keep on telling yourself this new stuff because your whole life, you've been thinking about mom and dad and how they left you and hurt you. Your whole life, you're thinking about that person that molested you. I know somebody in the physical reality, this has nothing to do with the consultation. I know this person. This person had told me, man, when I was in kindergarten, da 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 happened to me. I'm like looking at this person and I told this person, I was like, kindergarten? Kindergarten? You remember all of that from kindergarten? She was like, yeah, they had on da 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 and it hurt me and da 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 Half of the time, we be remembering stuff over and over what we're really doing is remembering what the last story that we told ourselves we really don't remember the version that really happened at kindergarten but we add on and we make our story really really intense we make our trauma really 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 full of momentum and we talk about it just like those people that have narcissistic men in their lives in the past or whatever they just want to get all the narcissistic people that had relationships to come and follow them and so they all talk about how no good men are and oh and this is their tactic and this is what they do you got to be careful with those narcs because they'll do da 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 da, da and then so now they done built up a narc community and guess what's gonna happen to those people all they gonna run and do is narcissistic type men because they're on the frequency because they're not so, see they don't realize though they don't realize this here because it all goes back to you they don't realize that they're sending out a signal that says i'm not worthy i'm not worthy so equivalent to a i'm not worthy signal is a narc signal that's looking for somebody who's not worthy and so the not worthy person meets up to the narc who puts himself first because they're a good energetic match so you got to understand where you are in this journey, the place you play in this journey. You're supposed to be the operant power, but when you are not the operant power, you're giving your power away, making somebody else the operant power over you. But you're supposed to be God in your kingdom. And if you're God in your kingdom, you know the biblical text already is all about the renewing of the mind. Don't think that this biblical text is for some white man to come crack, crack the sky for you to save you. It's about you becoming the Christ conscious one because you're the savior that you're looking for. Because check this out, church folk, if you're up in there, why is it that this, this white man didn't crack the sky for your mama, for your grandmother, huh? for your great grandparents. What make you think you are so worthy that they wasn't worthy enough for this man to crack the sky and come and save you? No, baby, ain't nobody cracking no sky out here, no physical reality. Life happens through you, not to you, okay? Life is happening through you. You're the person that's supposed to be cracking this sky. This here, pineal gland right here, you crack that thing open and see heaven. You crack that thing open and become the Christ conscious one. You crack that thing open, get on the other side, penetrate through this subconscious mind and have your heaven on earth and become the savior that you've been looking for this whole time sorry to disappoint you if you're looking for a savior outside of yourself it's gonna always be you because you're playing the game of life you signed up to play the game of life and maybe you on the first level maybe you don't know your cheat codes just yet maybe you on the first level and you blaming other people about your state of being but before you came forth in this physical reality you picked this life because you knew that one day you discovered that you were the savior that you were looking for. You knew that one day that you discovered that I'm going to make the rest of my days the best of my days. You knew that one day that you discover <laughs> that you could experience heaven on earth. 
that you're the operant power. That you are every day, but at the same time, you're no thing at all. <laughs> that you are merely God in physical form experiencing itself. Now, maybe you didn't experience yourself being fat and sick and in and, 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 and lack of relationships and lack of love for self, God. But it is your season now, God, to go on the other side of yourself and experience yourself with healthy relationships, with prosperity, with good health, with all the desires of your heart. Because it's all, it's all one God, one faith, one baptism. <laughs> all of it is. No matter what state of being you're in right now, it's still you experience yourself because it's only one one vibrating at different frequencies and you may be at the at the negative end of the spectrum but god i'm asking you today to come on to the other side god come on to the other side of that spectrum oh you experiencing death it's okay it's okay guess what on the other side of that pendulum that's swimming swinging there is life and death come on to the other side for some life god and stop playing games with your mind god because all is mine Open up your mind. Get out of that limited way of thinking. Get out of that box, God. Because outside of that box is a boundless universe where you can be, do, or have anything, God, when you put your mind to it. That's all this is about. You putting your mind to another state of being inside of your oneness. You vibrating at a different frequency, but the whole spectrum of it is God. Okay? You never get this thing called life wrong. You are always going to be the operant power, God. But you got to put your mind to it first. You got to want it. You got to want it bad enough. And you got to think upon that thing. This is this is equivalent to in the biblical text. They say, finally, finally my brethren, whatsoever things that are of love, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are of good rapport, if they have any virtue in them, if they feel good to you, God, think on these things. When you eating, even if your diet ain't up to par just yet, maybe you eating something that somebody say will dissolve inside of you and turn into sugar. Maybe, you know, like bread or whatever, your so-called carbs. But here's the thing, the trick about it, God, all is mine, God. When you're eating it, you say that I made this here from love. And this, 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 whatever, I don't know, cornbread. I made this cornbread from scratch from love. It is bringing nourishment to my body. It is what my body wanted at this time. I'm in love with this thing. I know that this thing is helping me get to a next step, step in my life and creating more healthier choices for me. I'm eating this today. You could speak to anything. This is what it means in the biblical text about speaking to a mountain and it being removed. It don't matter what that mountain is. It don't matter. I, I personally... Don't consume those things because I didn't set my program to that. When I set my program, I set my program to eat certain things because I've researched on them. But it don't really matter what you eat. It don't really matter if you go to that gym or not. All you have to do is speak to yourself, your cells, C-E-L-L-S, and say, you, you building right now. I command you to grow. You're being coming stronger right now. You could just be taking a walk to your bedroom and say, oh, I can feel my muscles growing right now because this is a mind game. The people in the gym, they just looking in the mirror and they just have the extra little tool like the weights in their hand and they create an illusion that that's the thing. But at the end of the day, it is the people's in the gym's mindset because all is mine. Whether we're talking about where you put it in your mouth, whether we're talking about working out, whether we're talking about your health and your well-being, all is mine this is why we have people on on the tick to the talk some people be like yeah you got to get your protein from the animal and then they have them other people that say oh yeah you got to get your protein from from the herb but guess what everybody in between have one thing in common they're mine and so it can work for that person that is a vegan by eating the herbs and it could also work for that person who is eating that meat and is focusing on the fact that that meat is their protein because in their mind they feel like that meat is not giving them any harm in their mind it is a thought that they had while they were consuming that meat that made that meat bring nourishment to their body because all is mine and they didn't have negative thought about it so they they not sick they're not experiencing dis-ease because their mind, their state of being is, but is in, is 
in part to what they're thinking. But here's the thing, that person who's experiencing guilt when they eat in that ice cream, oh, this is this is making me fat. Oh, uh, this is my guilt food. Oh, I know I shouldn't be eating this. Oh, this is cow pus. Oh, they got a lot of sugar in here. Oh, but I just broke up with my guy friend and I gotta do something. This makes me feel better. All of that internal dialogue, habitual thinking that they have in their subconscious mind, that's the thing that's making them sick. It's not really the cow pus. It's not really the ice cream. It is the thought that you're having. This is why in the biblical text in the New Testament, the Christ conscious one was saying, bless your food. See in the Old Testament, the old way of thinking in the book of e e uh, what it is, Leviticus, that's when they were saying, oh, don't eat the pork. Don't eat this here kind of crab and then this here shrimp. Don't eat that because it is, it is, it is not good for the temple. That was the old way of thinking. But once your mind becomes renewed once you die you let the old man die and be resurrected again and you penetrate through the subconscious mind in the new testament or the new contract just bless your food because all is mine just think a new thought <laughs> because all is mine just think it not robbery to be equal with god because all is mine you gotta get that if you don't get that go ahead on and create your new year's resolution and veil but until you penetrate to the subconscious mind, you're not gonna win. Sorry, Tut, you're not gonna win. And it take you repeating that thing over and over. So that means you gotta want it. You gotta want it every day. You gotta want wellness every day. And even though you're sick, you gotta be like, I know I'm getting well right now. I can feel the, every time you feel it ache, instead of saying, oh my gosh, I wonder what that is. You need to be like, oh, that go my body. Down go my body, getting everything in order. Oh, I appreciate my cells. It's sending me a signal right now. Oh, I know what that pain is. That pain is me, my body being renewed. I'm being renewed at a cellular level. And I'm going to give my body the nourishment that it needs for its cellular level of revitalizing me. For keeping me alive. I love my body because my body is working for me effortlessly day in and day out. And I love when I go to sleep because when I'm going to sleep i'm in detox mode i give my body a chance to just clean house i love everything about me i'm so happy for my cells i'm so happy for my liver i'm so happy for my kidneys you gotta fall in love with it and you gotta share the share the good in it and you gotta do it over and over because that's the same thing you did to get your body to a state of dis-ease you dishonored it you looked upon it as if it wasn't working as if it wasn't worthy as if it wasn't good enough you sat up there and allowed somebody to, 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 to look upon your body over and over and do tests and tests and tests and you became the lab rat and you just stared up at stared upon him in its dis-ease state of being. You gave your attention to what was dis-ease, not the things that was good. You didn't give your attention to that. You gave your attention to dis-ease. So in order to get on the other side, you got to give your attention to the good in your body. Something got to be good. I don't care if you go, you, you didn't receive the bad um report from help something gotta be good you gotta you gotta have something good you gotta have pretty something pretty pinky so pretty something you find the good you gotta have a behind your kneecap right there behind your kneecap it gotta be cute something your elbow maybe yours not dark and black like everybody's you okay well that's something good maybe your wisdom tooth still up in there that's something good maybe you have some cute ears or something you could find the good find the good because there is some because there that will be defying the law of polarity because the law of polarity says there must be two sides they must be male and that must be female right <laughs> so if that's the case if if all of you think all you see is bad use a lie they have to have good because we in we in we in this physical reality governed underneath the law of polarity where there's two sides if you didn't set up there and you found the, the bad there is good find it and focus on it and give your attention to it and build up momentum for it. And guess what? More good gonna come. More good gonna follow. More good gonna follow. It's all of this is a mind game though. It's a game of life. And you signed up to play to win. Quit powering off. Quit throwing the, the controller at the TV and blaming other people. Quit it. Grow up. Play the game. The game's supposed to be fun. The game's supposed to be bringing you to other levels. The game's supposed to be l allowing the old part of you to die for you to be resurrected again. How dare you decide you don't want to play the game no more when you created the game. <laughs> when you created the game, God. 
Woof. Okay, I had to get that out. That was heavy on my heart. Rain and sunshine. Hey, Sullivan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ask you a question again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask you a question. I wasn't looking. Yeah, if you have a question. Good and evil. Yes, find the good. Find it. It's there. It's there. It is so there. 100. Yeah, speak life and positively. Into, yeah. Yeah, oneness. If we are God, does that mean there is no higher consciousness or God universally? Universally. Oh, okay. That's the question. This is good. Speaking life. Well, look at it this way. All is God. It's a collective consciousness. All is mine. So, like in the book of Genesis, for example, they talk about the darkness that was on the face of the deep, so to speak. The energy. It's just a collection of energy. And all of us re reflect that. All of us. We are all part of the oneness. But in this matrix, it's an illusion of separation. So we got me, you, your mama, your daddy, all kind of like separated, experiencing itself. But the collective part of it is that universal thing, that 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 God, so, so to speak. But all of us represent it. This is why in the church, like they'll be like, we're children of God, but we're collective consciousness because it's all just a big ball of energy. Because at the end of the day, we are nothing, but yet we're everything. <laughs> we are God experiencing itself in human form. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, the cycle continues. Yes, yes, yes. The life cycles, I never get you live. So please to connect this day. Hey, okay, good. I'm glad you're here too. I have the biggest crush on you. Hey, thank you, babe. I appreciate that rebirth. In the feminine energy. Okay, now let me go back to the bottom. Did you write a question down here? Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm so grateful I caught your live. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm glad you hear that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you for that. Can the biggest soda and salt make me dizzy? Like I drink too much? No. No, you shouldn't be putting too much in there. Oh, look at um hey you. Use love first. You probably caught one of my lives, huh? And I'm in the call just, just been kind of like getting something that, I, that was heavy on my heart because of my love for my reflections. And I just pulled over just to say this here real quick. I'm not staying long. But back to the um, biggest soda and salt make me dizzy. No, it shouldn't be making you dizzy at all. I'm talking about pink, a pinch, like right in a regular bottle of water. A pinch of baking soda and a pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt is not going to make you dizzy. That's just spring water. If you go to the grocery store, and look at, let's see, Evian, uh, Fiji, Fuji, or however you pronounce the other one. You turn it around, you look at the ingredients, you're going to see sodium bicarbonate. That's baking soda. Spring water naturally has those. You're going to see, um, well, you might not see uh, sea salt listed like that, but you'll see electrolytes, even Gatorades. You'll see the word salt electrolytes pink Himalayan sea salt is giving you electrolytes this is basic spring water what it should be the reason why I tell you to add it to the regular um, waters that you get from the gross regular spring waters is because they don't really have much of nothing in there they saying that it's spring water but they not really give you the electrolytes that you need so I'm just saying put a little micro dose amount in there that should make you dizzy that should make, actually hydrate you on a deeper level you know, sodium bicarbonates help you with um, with the um, barrier of your stomach because the barrier of your stomach has sodium bicarbonates. If not, the acids inside of your stomach would be burning your chest in your back, right? So you replenishing that. This is really good for those people that have like leaky gut syndrome, right? So that's why I say sodium bicarbonates. Plus it's an antifungal too. A lot of people have fungus up in there. But then the pink Himalaya sea salt, the purpose for it in spring water, naturally, is because it helps to help to uh, produce your hydrochloric acid, which is the acid inside of the gut that breaks down your food. This is why some people like, if they eat like um, hot sauces with cheese or whatever, burger or whatever, three days they still belching and, belch and they still could smell that hot sauces. Why is that? Because they didn't have enough hydrochloric acid in there to break down that burger, that bread, and that meat. So it's still sitting up in there. So that's why I'm only telling you to do that, to produce your hydrochloric acid, to make sure you have a buffer of sodium bicarbonate, and to have you with proper um, 
spring water that has those things in it and on top of that you're not wasting all your money because these even yarn waters and these um fuji or fiji however you say it. i think it's fuji water they're really expensive and they can you know they could you know they could add up so now you can create your own out of the spring water that you're giving it you're purifying it even on another level plus those two things together is making your water more alkaline so now you have to have to worry about the the spring i mean being acidic because your water is spring and it's more alkaline and they have another water i think it's called evermore if you look at that i did all of this via water quality testing already so i know what i'm talking about here if you look at the water quality testing report on it any number of water and sodium bicarbonates and i think it's about eight like no you need some spin chemical sea salt in there you know you don't just need baking soda you know to keep your fire out you need the pink himalaya sea salt to keep the hydrochloric acid the fire within breaking down that food so i hope that helps but i wasn't talking about that but i just want to help you out <laughs> but anyway my ex-wife police accountable okay okay thank you it resonates you're welcome where do you get the sodium sodium bicarbonates is gonna be bob's red meal i ain't talking about the 99 cent kind i look i don't tell y'all nothing about no cheap half a stuff I, I i have a transformation course i've walked this walk i've healed people and myself by doing this so i ain't talking about nothing cheap where you can get from no dollar store you probably have to go online to amazon to get this or to whole food store because i used to see them up in there but it's a bag of um sodium bicarbonates by bob red mills it's gonna be like about somewhere about eight to eleven dollars for a bag of it the bag is not that big either but i am not talking don't you go down there don't you go down there and get no 99 cent uh armor hammer and put in your water don't you do that i ain't say that you do it don't don't tell nobody i told you to do that it's bob red mill now if you use that maybe because they got all kind of fillers and stuff and i don't trust that brand right you got it from hopeful okay good good happy new year hey wash how you doing happy new season to you too so that's it that's the video i just really wanted to do you have a live schedule no you mean lives do i schedule them no i just come on when i feel the need to schedule them if that's what you're talking about but i do consultations if that's what you're talking about my consultation is available on my website at www.saltoftheearthpub.org and the link is in my bio let me see everybody on here today let me see if i can answer some more questions bob red meals yes sodium bicarbonate baking soda only use that one don't use no other one no don't use no other one that is the purest richest cleanest one only one do not put the arm and hammer in there don't don't do it okay sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate is the same thing as baking soda same thing i'm just saying it two different ways sodium bicarbonate is baking soda it's the thing that actually increases the alkalinity of your water making it more alkaline but do not overdo anything you do too much of and good I, I always teach a healthy balance i'm talking about in your regular bottle of water what are these like um six this one here see like this one here this is the one that i buy out here i'm in arizona i don't know if this is everywhere but that's what i do with all these when you come to my house <laughs> i had people over the house it was like why the bottle why the water <laughs> why the cap why the cap it you know all your water <laughs> because when i bring my water <laughs> when i bring my water home i open up all of them and i get my pink himalaya sea salt out and i put a little pinch of pink himalaya sea salt and i put a little pinch of sodium bicarbonates by bob red mills in all of my waters then i put the cap back on that way i ain't gotta do it later or forget that i do everybody about to get some alkaline water up in here and they're like i like it it's really really smooth yeah because it's alkaline it ain't rough it ain't hard to swallow you know i made my own alkaline water out of what they call spring water at the store don't pick up no reverse osmosis water and try to do this so now you got to look at the back of your water bottle and make sure the the ingredient says spring water you don't want reverse osmosis water 
you don't want no hungry water you want spring water and you're just making a better spring water that's all i'm trying to get you all to do that you do that and those people that have like um like high blood pressure those people that have like cancerous states of being that's just those people that have eczema hey pretty girl i see you those people that have things like eczema or whatever that's just you like your, your your body just sending a signal through your skin that hey it's ascetic up in here when you have thick tacky blood that's what your 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 body is saying hey 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 i get like get tone some of this here down you got a lot of um uric acid lactic acid built up inside of your um lymphatic system tone that thing down bring me, give me some alkaline so you can start with your water that's an easy way of getting more alkaline in the new year start with your water please give yourself some alkaline water i ain't talking about the kind that's about to break your money i'm talking about the regular spring water that you make that you make at your house that you know is alkaline for you quit trusting everybody to buy those waters and just drink them as is sometimes you have to manipulate the energy you're god you're the operant power here you should be manipulating the energy with everything and letting things be like you want them to be not the way that they are how, well, how are you just going to accept things the way that they are manipulate the energy god we've been waiting on you we've been looking for you to save us <laughs> to save the ones that's in your kingdom the ones that you see day in and day out that's something simple and easy you could start right there your health is really your wealth you could probably you could want all kind of, i'm telling you i consult with people and i'm friends with people right now that are in a cashier state of being and they are millionaires and guess where they money going call it be <laughs> holistic health that's where they money going right now because it was all about money you better take care of your body you better take care of your mind because if you lose that you have no thing god what's really going on in your kingdom you done died and you can't resurrect again come on now <laughs> okay let me see so y'all got that okay i feel like y'all got it. let me see if i miss anything what about weight loss what about it thank you for your knowledge you are so welcome bless season new season to you yeah i love you appreciate your dedication to the uplifting of our people oh thank you babe it's my passion already open yep oh, <laughs> oh that's what you left there yep all my waters all my waters open so don't come over here don't come over to my house if you don't trust my finger i wash my hands don't come over here and ask me for no water then because you're gonna get the water that i just manipulated the energy on because that's what my family my family came over and everybody was like the water open i like yeah i know just drank it and but they already know they already know me they know like they wanted me to make them breakfast breakfast i don't you know breakfast what is you talking about breakfast i was like okay go get the stuff they wanted grits eggs and in, in, in um bacon right I don't have no, I don't even want to touch no dirt and pork. Like, right? That's my rule that I gave my subconscious mind. You could give your subconscious mind whatever rule you want. But I don't fool with pork. I was like, I'll make y'all some turkey bacon. So I made the bacon. I seasoned it up with, put some herbs and stuff and shake season on the bacon. Yes, I did. And they little eggs that they got. Oh, they got some um, IRC moss up in them eggs. That was the fluffiest eggs I ever seen in my life. I was just trying to manipulate the energy from them eating eggs and give them some minerals. So I, I had because you know irc moss is a um it's a filler you know you put it in smoothies it like bulk stuff up so them eggs were so fluffy and then they had some they had some vegan uh, butter on them grits they had some hemp seeds up in there they had some clove oil up in, <laughs> up in there yeah you manipulate the energy you want grits eggs and bacon for me and i don't even eat this stuff of course i'm gonna manipulate the energy of course i'm gonna give something in there for nourishment of your body and, I, and then when it was eaten after they ate they were like man that was so was good i ain't never had no eggs like that they were so fluffy and da, da, da. And then i told them afterwards what i did to it it's like yeah you wasn't getting no regular egg up in here what the hell you think going on up in here <laughs> don't come over don't come over here to my house if you want regular stuff i ain't about to give you no regular stuff we're gonna manipulate this thing yeah herbal feast you guys it was <laughs> yeah i don't eat breakfast i'll just eat some fruit in the morning or drink some water matter of fact i had a tea this morning that was it i and i didn't even drink my water yet y'all just saw that but yeah you manipulate that thing that's the save, save everybody in kingdom they want to be saved you god go on and save them just manipulate the energy oh okay i got you you want me to cook okay let me heal your gut that's what you're saying that's what it sounds like you're saying to me when i don't cook i don't need to cook <laughs> 
because if I, I eat fruit, like I'm on a fast, I'm still on my um 90 day fast. I've been eating fruits and, and juices and stuff like right, water and coconut oil. And you gonna ask me to cook? Oh, you must be asking me to heal your ace. That's how I interpret that that kind of talk. Oh, okay, I'm gonna heal you. Let me get you some herbs in your food. Let me sneak it, sneak it in your food. That's what I think. <laughs> hey Trey, hey Trey. What do we put in our water? I was um, well, I was telling everybody the um, pink and blessed sea salt by Bob Red Mill, and I know pink and blessed sea salt, period, and then sodium bicarbonates by Bob Red Mill. Inside of your drinking spring water, a pinch of both of them. Now you have alkalizing water that's good for your gut. You're alkalizing your body. You have sodium bicarbonates which buffers your stomach and you have your hydrochloric acid would help you digest this here is antifungal this is going to alkaline your body this is going to give you electrolytes if those of you who like to get the gatorades if you look turn the gatorades around you're getting salt up in the air you're getting white toxic salt that don't have all these minerals so you might as well give you the real salt that has all these minerals and electrolytes that's going to electrify your already electric body and leave that gatorade alone because they have all kind of crazy oils and sugar up in here so that ain't really electrifying your body it ain't giving you what you need your water can give you what you need if you know how to manipulate it okay so you have to watch the report um repeat on my youtube channel i guess i'll upload this one here to my youtube channel for those of you who came in late because i don't want to keep on um repeating that i stopped eating breakfast many years ago just because naturally did not make it feel good at all i never really did like breakfast never did and you know back in the day our parents used to make us kind of like eat you better eat all your food you know making us by saying it's breakfast time it's lunch time them children don't be hungry half the time we eat too much i concluded that being on this 90 day phase we eat too much because i ain't eat since november <laughs> we eat too much okay too much i'm still alive and i feel good okay Oh, what products you suggest for that's the question okay i'm sorry about that uh for weight loss i would suggest uh sustained detox i just did a restock on that that's oh and actually it's right here because i just did a video on it too sustained detox on my website i suggest that because that's going to get rid of old fecal matter to clean you out at a cellular level and i would also suggest more fruits in your diet while you on this sustained detox like start doing smoothies and you sustain so fruits and vegetables now when you do go back to eating that's that's what you put in but what you need to take out because sometimes you got to take some things out you know you got to die you got to let some things die in order to be resurrected that was what we were talking about at first so you got to let go of that stuff that turned into sugar inside of you right this is physical this is straight up physical and sometimes you don't realize that that is that bread that bread aka the gluten in that bread is sticking to the walls of your intestines preventing your minerals from being absorbed right so maybe we need to take that out. The pastas, that the bread and the pastas, that's turning into sugar too. Then on top of that, if you like white sugar, on top of that, now you got three sugars: bread, pasta, and sugar, sugar. So baby, let's eliminate that. Let's make room now, since we're taking out those things. Let's make more room on that plate for some vegetables and some fruit. I ain't saying stop eating your meat. I didn't initially stop eating meat in the beginning. I let go of the red meats though, the so-called beef and pork and steak that sits in your digestive system, especially if you're melanated bean for longer duration than other beans. Yeah, it sits there. It's hard to digest. It's hard on your digestive system. How about cutting back on the meat and opening up a place for some more green things on your plate, like vegetables, some more fruit, fiber fiber is so important you get them fibers from maybe if you could incorporate some smoothies and make sure you have like dates agave or um, sweet tamarind those are heavily loaded with fiber softening your stool allowing you to eliminate removing parasites from the body because they thick and tacky so that thick tacky consistency of the dates of the um sweet tamarind of the agave is going to pull all of that out and assist you while you're on the detox see the problem that we really have is our inability to absorb and eliminate this is what leads to us having to wear glasses this is what leads to us having 
eczema and psoriasis and all these different things on our skin because the absorption and the ability to eliminate has been clogged up because maybe we got a poke job sitting on top of it. Maybe that cornbread sitting on top of there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that pasta sitting up. Maybe that bread or the glue tin glue from the br bread is sitting right there where we supposed to be absorbing stuff but we not absorbing no more because we got too much glue inside of us think about it that way and once you eliminate those things and start putting some of those citrus fruits in that smoothie see the citrus um fruits really help with that lactic acid and the uric acid this is why i say it's so important that you don't forget to drink you some fruit juices like i'm on a fast right now i my fast is coconut oil because I know that that's where you get real protein from amino acids the building block of, of um, your muscles like right that's the only thing that keeps me with energy right so I consume organic unrefined whole pressed virgin um, extra virgin coconut oil every day I consume that about two three spoons first thing when I get up coconut oil because I know that I'm manipulating the energy of that and getting energy from my healthy fats. That's the healthy fats that your body needs to convert into energy. Not only that, I'm getting all of my amino acids. Not only that is I, I got antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, anti, um, I, did I say all of them? Anti everything, got anti-inflammation, anti-inflammatory. <laughs> I got all of that in my coconut oils i got that and so now with my juices i got juices that's cleaning out my lymph that i'm taking on my face grape seeded grape juice that cleans out your lymphatic system grapes that's why you can't find seeded grapes nowhere because they they gonna they gonna heal the, the whole kingdom <laughs> so i'm drinking me some um grape seed i mean seeded grape juice every day Oh, and I, I have incorporated some uh, tart cherry juice. Cherry juice is really good to help you sleep, help you produce your uh, melatonin, right? It's good for pain. It's good for your brain. It's good for, um, uh, what do they call that? Old, old, Alzheimer's. So, you know, people that have um, a lot of acid build up in their head. I also drank coconut water. Coconut water is from a young coconut, or you can get the can, but just make sure you look at the ingredients, and it should say, coconut water nothing else nothing else just coconut water you don't need no sugar you don't need no high fructose corn syrup you don't need none of that coconut water and if you get that in the can the coconut water is helping to dilate my kidneys right so this is why on my fast my skin is looking better i'm still having my energy i'm still feeling full but i'm not eating i'm not digesting anything plus i'm drinking my spring water with my sodium bicarbonate come on now manipulate the energy and once you do that, even if you're obese, if you start off doing stuff like that, then you're going to get gun ho with energy. Now you're going to want to go to the gym. Now you're going to want to go walking around in the park or whatever because you're going to have your energy back. You're going to be an electrified, your already electric body from the atom, from the cellular level. <laughs> Leading to the perfect quality of life. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I'm about to fast. Fruit juices are amazing too. Yes, they are. I never like breakfast. Yeah. I wanted to tell you when you told me to use holy basil. Baby, that was the best thing for me. Oh yeah, I love me some holy basil. It's good for um it's a good antidepressant too. You know, you depressed? I got some in my backyard. And like if it rain, I don't like it when it rain. Yesterday it rained. So I eat holy basil like when it rain. You know, because it kind of, when it rain kind of make you dreary. That's kind of why, why I moved from New Orleans. It used to rain so much out there. And now I'm in Arizona. And we barely, barely get rain. But yesterday it rained. And you just, you know, you just get some, um, I put some holy, holy basil in my, um, in my juice from yesterday. Because, like, it's an antidepressant. Go to the herb. Transform your energy. Lean on the herb that is good for that. Just lean on the herb that's good for that. So I do my herbal teas, I do my coconut water, my um, coconut oil, my sour cherry juice, and my seeded grape juice on this here fast. <laughs> and I'm still going. We eat too much, y'all. We eat too much. Let's see. Let me look at this here. Why am I zooming in? I ain't trying to zoom in. Oh, Lord. Don't zoom in. 
Oh, my eyeballs getting big. I'm trying to hit the messages. Maybe my finger on it too much. Let me see. My thing getting frozen. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, you a bad. Oh, by the way, you a bad. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate that. That's how it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing. It's in my bio. Uh, Sunday at 7 p.m. for the night. That's when it happens. So, thank you. I appreciate that. And I feel like saying that to you. Two hours of sleep a night. That's like a lot of sleep. internal usage oh yeah oh yeah don't use some coconut oil and see the beautiful thing about the herbal things that you consume you take too much of it it ain't like medication you ain't gonna mess up your kidneys you ain't gonna you know mess up your liver like you know those drugs gonna do those little rocks we call pills no with herbal things you're just gonna you know release it through your bowel or through your urine that's beautiful because okay you take let's say you take a big glop of coconut oil guess what boy your bowel movement gonna be nice and slick and it's just gonna come out and pass and you're gonna be them picked up all kind of parasites in the in between time right so you can't really overdo it you know you can't that's the beautiful thing about it but we've been taught to you know do the other way okay you're back oh oh y'all couldn't hear me i was running my mouth Oop. oh i was covering my mouth i mean the mic oops i'm sorry i was sad the good thing about coconut oil i wouldn't suggest it for it by itself on the skin is what i was saying because it's a high alkalinity range it's about eight your skin is supposed to be slightly acidic like a five so i was saying by itself i wouldn't recommend it for skin that's why sometimes people will start using it then they'll be like wait my skin drying out my pores getting clogged yeah because it don't mimic the um ph balance of your skin even though i make a product called um bees body butter with coconut oil what i did there is i manipulated the ph balance of the coconut oil by adding some other things that will drop the ph in order to for it to mimic the skin again the ph of the skin so for the skin by itself i wouldn't say use coconut oil but in your mouth girl if you don't put some coconut oil in your mouth don't cook it though don't cook no coconut oil do not cook it let me say that if you cook it you cooked it because you wanted to cook it i never told you to cook it it's a virgin be gentle with it be delicate with it virgins don't need no fire you should put that on your maybe a hot plate of food and let it melt on your food if you can't take the solid you know consistency in your mouth or you should put it directly in your mouth and let you the warmth from your mouth melt that thing and swallow that thing i did not say cook it though you cook that virgin oil of coconut oil it's gonna run rancid and it's not gonna be good for you no more because you shouldn't have put fire by. I didn't tell you to do that. You do it. Don't tell nobody that I told you to do that. Let's clear that up right now. Just like I ain't never said go get no arm and hammer baking soda earlier. That wasn't me. I said give Bob red milk baking soda for that water. Okay? So don't tell nobody. I'm telling nobody nothing wrong. Because I don't I don't condone cooking with no coconut oil. It's not good. Bees body butter. I highly recommend. Oh, thank you, Janex. Oh, yeah, you purchased that yeah that's my jam i used it for oil pulling yeah i did a video on oil pulling that is beautiful and you know what with my oil pulling when i do it i add my alchemist oil some of you purchased that alchemist oil is a combination of um clove and oregano oil together called the alchemist oil now these are anti-fungal anti-parasitic and, and antiviral oils as well so now you got three mamma jammas you got the coconut oil you got clove oil and you got oregano oil in your mouth while you pull it so those people that you know have like gingivitis and have maybe that um 
cavities or acid build up in their mouth and all those things and their teeth falling out that's what they need to go to the bad breath all that because now the oregano is going to give you that um that fresh breath feeling right but you only need one drop because that is the most potent oregano that you're going to find in the alchemist oil it will burn your skin so you must dilute it so you'll be diluting it with your coconut oil while you're all pulling game changer talk about whitening your teeth talk about freshening your breath talk about preserving your gums because it's really your gums that be compromised when your teeth start getting cavities and when they start falling out if i was your gums and you wouldn't keep me in the alkaline range i'll run up i mean if i was your teeth and i keep you in the alkaline range i'll run up out of there too you know because it's too acidic up in here she i'll be like she wilding out nah nah i'm gone i'm about to leave and i bet you she'll get that she'll get the message too that she <laughs> That she didn't take care of that mouth properly. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Good evening, beautiful day ladies. Shouting out from Texas. Hey, Texas, user 8940. I go all with it every morning, but didn't know it could be swallowed. I was using it to help cavities. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You, you, when you're, there's two different things I was just talking about. There's one thing. Who was that? Let me see. Key. Key knew. There's one thing called oil pulling. Oil pulling, you gargle with it and all of the, you're pulling toxins out of your mouth. You do that first. You all pull and you pull the toxins out. You gargle with it 10, 15 minutes. Da, 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 da. Now you have a toxic amount of saliva. Now you're going to spit that in the trash can instead of down your drain because the coconut oil solidifies. So we want to protect the drain in case it's winter time. So we're going to just throw it in the trash can. We're spitting it in the trash can, right? That's one thing. The second thing I'm talking about is after your teeth are clean and after you brush your teeth and you start in your day, now you can consume some coconut oil and now you can swallow that because you're not already oil pulled. And swallowing that is increasing the alkalinity of your body and now that since it's not full of the toxins that was in your mouth you cleaned your mouth first from the oil pulling now you're doing something different you're swallowing some because now you want to take care of them parasites and you want to take care of the inflammation and oftentimes people like with high blood pressure people with cancer they need to be swallowing some coconut oil right now they need to be right now because it's people with eczema right now people with fluid feel bumps on their face right now they need to be swallowing some coconut oil and immediately the first time you do it i guarantee you because you're all you, your body telling you sending you messages already that you're inflamed the first time you do it you're gonna be like a sizzling sensation it's gonna be happening an anti-inflammatory sensation gonna be happening i seen it and the person is just like <sighs> because most often than not it all starts in the gut and so the gut be so inflamed to when you consume extra virgin coconut oil it's like it's sizzling and you know that you need it from that point on you know some people are walking around so inflamed they don't they don't even realize that they are inflamed until they take something like you know the coconut oil and it brings down that inflammation so that'll be also a perfect thing for those people with high blood pressure is what i was trying to say cancer because the information starts in the gut first that's where 80 percent of the immunity lies in the gut that's how they got the lymphatic system and everything backed up because of the gut because too much was going on in the gut and the lymphatic system travels throughout all organs and so since it's traveling and it's supposed to be pulling out the toxins because it's the backup for the blood right it's just like wait hold up too much going on over here and then now the body becomes overloaded with acids because the lymphatic system ain't moving the digestive system ain't moving there's inflammation they got a hole in the gut leaky gut syndrome now it's leaking out and all over the abdominal cavity now the kidney is not working out and it just become a chain reaction you start taking that coconut oil going to the core of the whole issue soothing the inflammation and allowing things to heal stop eating so much stop consuming the glue gluten and stop consuming all of the sugars now you're reversing the issue now the blood is no longer thick and tacky anymore because now you opened up a pathway for that lymphatic system to drain because that coconut oil is also getting rid of the acids the lymphatic system is where all of the acids are you know you get these acids from maybe from maybe consuming so many um 
acidic foods, you know, from cold drinks, from even the ladies we get it sometimes if we have all of them acids and things we put it on our face, from even perms in our head, all of that goes inside of the lymphatic system when you're spraying your little perfume and you want to put it all on your ear behind it and all the ingredients in the perfume, now that's in your skin when you put it on commercial soaps, that's in your skin. We're just absorbing, absorbing. Hey, try this, try this, try this, try this. Stop trying for a minute. Start releasing and detoxing so that lymphatic system could catch up. All right. A lot of y'all here today, and I wasn't, I was just jumping in and on. I mean, just in and off. Let's see. Let's see. I go over there every morning, but I, okay. Good evening. Okay, let's go. Shut on the pillow. <laughs> Somebody said, T just chilling on the pillow. <laughs> like, we're not ready to go back. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't swallow while pulling. Don't swallow that. Oh, thank you for so much. <laughs> That's funny. How much to swallow at once? A spoon. Like a teaspoon up there at once. That's good. And you could do like a teaspoon in the morning and a teaspoon at night if that's what you want to do. That, you know, if you can't tolerate. It depends upon your tolerance, you know. But I go up to like three. Like on this fast, I was like doing like three. Uh, teaspoons in the morning and three at night because I'm not eating and I needed those healthy fats because sometimes well there was moments not anymore but in the past in the beginning of my fast when I was like on 39 or whatever I got really 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 hungry so I needed some fats so that's why I was consuming more coconut oil during that time and so that way I wouldn't drop and lose so much weight drastically too because when I first became a vegan I lost weight drastically because i got rid of all of the breads all the cold drinks all of the porks i was only eating chicken and salmon at that time with vegetables and fruits right right that was the only two meats that i was down to and i lost weight drastically and people was like saying you know what's wrong with you you looking cracky you know that's the thing you got to be on crack when you trying to do a healthy lifestyle but at that time I didn't know about the coconut oil but when I learned about this coconut oil then my weight balanced back off and my you know my neck because like my head when I lose weight it's like my head stay big and then my neck gets small and so I be looking like one of them little little wobble heads like so everything caught up and so that's how I understood better understood that I needed for me those healthier fats that came in coconut oil you're welcome babe is there a particular brand you prefer um, a coconut oil? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, but here's the thing. You know, I'm particular about what I'm saying. So if you get refined, don't tell nobody I told you to get refined. I ain't tell you that. <laughs> Back to what I say. When picking coconut oil, you're getting extra virgin. You need four things extra virgin, cold pressed, unrefined, organic coconut oil. Organic, unrefined, extra virgin, cold press coconut oil. Not the refined one. Mm -mm, you want the real deal. You don't want nothing refined because that's just equivalent to like salt. You got the pink Himalaya sea salt that have 80 plus minerals. Then you got the white salt that have two. You don't want the white one. That's why people get high blood pressure because they have two and they need the electrolytes. Just like with the coconut. You don't want the refined one that been stripped of nothing. You'd be the gangster. Like, if we gonna do the health thing, go for the gang stuff. That's why I don't be, like, limes and stuff. Like, you don't ever hear me talking about um, lemons. Limes is a gangster. I food lemons. I ain't got time for that. They don't have no seed up in there. So when you go on this lifestyle, go for the gang stuff. You don't ever t hear me talking about no flaxseed. Oh, what? Flaxseed? Girl, if you don't get you some hemp seed, girl. <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't... I done did the research, I know already, so I do, I only share with y'all gangsta stuff. Stuff that I know for a melanated bean, we need gangsta. We don't need no darn flaxseed. We don't need no darn white salt. We don't need no lemons without no, no darn seed in there. For what? Why are we playing games? If this a lifestyle change, let's do the darn thing. <laughs> let's see. Is there a particular brand? Yeah, I just answered that. Do you take apple cider vinegar? Nope, I'm against apple cider vinegar. I feel like it is too acidic for one. It strips you 
so much for two. Yeah, people lose weight because they're stripping. They, they just go up in there and it just strips of everything. I don't. Nope. 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 It's too invasive. Too ascetic. But what I do do is coconut vinegar. Coconut vinegar. Because guess what's in coconut vinegar? Amino acids. Guess what's in coconut vinegar? Um, probiotics. Yeah. Probiotics. You know how they talk about them acidophilus pills? Girl, if you don't get you a tiny bit of coconut vinegar up in here and dilute it still. But a coconut is more nutritious than an apple on any day. Like I said, I go for gangster stuff. There ain't no apple cider. No, no, no. Coconut vinegar. They sell it on Amazon. They sell it at Whole Foods store too. Coconut vinegar. Throw that apple cider vinegar out. It ain't halfway as nutritious as, as a coconut. No. And then all the stuff that they could do possibly to an apple on a tree. It's hard, it's hard to manipulate the energy of a coconut because guess what? You got to get in the inside of that. You can't, what, you're going to spray the nut? You know? <laughs> like, they, you know, I, no, I don't mess with apple cider vinegar. Coconut vinegar. Let's see, is it okay to take the coconut oil three times a day with high cholesterol? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's going to get rid of some of that, all of that. Every sickness and disease. Let me let me tell you this here. Ooh, who likes math? Let's see who that was. The six one four. Oh, Tierra. Okay. So every sickness and disease that we you could call it pneumonia, you could call it cancer, you could call it eczema, you could call it Alzheimer's. It's just the fact that what they're saying is, hey, you got inflammation. Your mucous membrane has been compromised. In this area, bronchitis. In this area, Alzheimer's. In this area, irritable bowel syndrome. So, it all goes back to that part or area being ascetic, being inflamed. So, coconut oil, cholesterol, <laughs> inflammation. Coconut oil is anti-inflammatory. Coconut oil get rid of the lactic and uric acids. Acids, the acid side. See, the blood side is the alkaline side. The, the lymphatic side is the acid side. When you have too much acids, too much inflammation, the blood side can't clear out. The lymphatic system is supposed to be clearing out the blood. But when it's backed up, oh, you in trouble. You gonna get a pronounced dis-ease or cholesterol issues, bronchitis, cancer, whatever. Get rid of some of that acids and that inflammation and get back on the more alkaline side and you're going to be healed of any sickness or disease. <laughs> get rid of that mucus and the coconut oil going to do that for you because it's going to allow you to, 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 to release that via your bowel. It's going to clean out your lymphatic system. Either way, you winning with coconut oil. You winning with coconut oil, baby. I don't care if you have thyroid issues. Coconut oil. Start there. You, you need to change your diet still. But you got to start with that coconut oil. You got to put out that inflammation. You got leaky gut. Guess what? You got to you gotta have inflammation. You got irritable bowel syndrome. That means you got so much old fecal matter sitting up there. And when you move it around, guess what? You going to have inflammation. That inflammation going to be exposed that redness that soreness gonna be exposed so if you're gonna change your diet and allow that old um stuff to come out and replenish it with some fruits and vegetables you gotta incorporate some coconut oil for that inflammation or you're gonna be burned you're gonna still be inflamed you're gonna still have the parasites in there because the coconut oil also oh there's another thing that i just thought about that i, I didn't mention already coconut oil is the only one that has the ability to get past the lupic coating on the virus, the parasites. See, when we have these viruses and, and par um, parasites, tumors, cysts, whatever you want to call it, there's a lipid coating around them. They, they protect themselves so they can sit up and while out in that said area, whether it's in your ovaries, your, in your breasts, your lump, in your lymph, whatever it is, it builds like a protection barrier, a lupid coating. Coconut oil, the oil in the co that makes up the coconut, has the ability to penetrate through the 
coating of the virus and kill the parasite because at the tail end inside of that cyst inside of that so-called tumor inside of um that uh fibroid inside of whatever you won't call it is a little parasite that's a little gnawing on you somewhere so it has the ability to kill that and penetrate through its coating to get to it to kill it and expel it out of here boy everybody need coconut oil extra virgin unrefined cold press coconut oil organic Okay, a couple of more questions, and then I gotta go to the post office and drop off my orders for the day. If y'all order something from me, I'm trying to get there. I'm here <laughs> in the car trying to get there. Okay, let's see. Um, fried processed foods. Fried food, processed food. Okay. <sighs> okay, Peter. Yeah, uh, you know what, Peter? Fried foods, to me, in my opinion, I because I fry when I'm eating. I fry like portobello mushrooms for example you know fried foods i don't think all fried foods are bad for you it's the oil that you use to fry the food in the oil of choice for me is avocado oil so when i fry my portobello mushrooms i fry them in avocado oil choose the right oil but as far as yeah fried chicken all the time you know like fast food fried food yeah that ain't no good for you peter you're right about that because uh what's that name of that place is chick-fil-a Chick-fil-A be frying their stuff in peanut oil. Peanut oil, canola oil. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> uh -uh, get up out of there with those oils. Because they will mess up with your head. Oh, they will mess with your head. They don't have no benefits. Crisco oil. Some food like that. Don't, don't, don't use those. Use a better oil for like when you're frying your uh, vegetables, I'm saying. But yeah, fried foods at fast food places, yeah. Yeah. The meat itself is already acidic, so frying it in avocado oil you still gonna have an acidic substance when it digests but an avocado oil would be a better than oil than a canola oil on any day better than oil than a peanut oil and a sunflower oil and what else or even the flaxseed oil which i don't think people fry with flaxseed oil but i wouldn't use none of that because it's weak and like i said i like to go for the gangster stuff let's see what do you wash your body with? My soul. Hey. Hey, Yim Bryant. Um, my soul. My, um, I make my own soul. Um, it's called Be Nourished. And the active ingredient is going to be the alchemist oil. So, clove oil and oregano oil is inside of my soul. And it's, it's made of healthy butters, shea butters, and avocado oil. Up now, avocado oil is good for the skin. So yeah, it's called Be Nourished. It's available on my website at www.solidarypub.org and that's in my bio too. That's in. Uh, just got the number three gifter badge. Who is that, Peter? Oh, okay, go ahead on, Peter. I don't know what that means, Peter. But thank you, though. Number three gifter badge. I don't know nothing about the ba badges. Hey, Peter, you sent me a rose. Let me see, Peter. Let me look at you. Okay, no bio. Thank you, Peter. I see you. I just pulled up your um, profile. Thank you. We need this message today. Yeah, it looks like it. Because there's a lot of y'all up in here. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. I use my own products and I'm on the fast. Let's say left. Yeah, I was laughing earlier. Could you talk about your soap? I think I use too much because it doesn't matter. Nope, it don't lather. It don't lather at all. You're not going to find who is this? Net. You're not gonna find that my soap lathers. Because soaps that lather give you the illusion that it's cleaning and it's stripping you back to stripping. That foam of the lather, that foam of the lather, lather is illusion. And that's actually in itself a toxic ingredient. A toxic ingredient. You know, like lies equivalent to lye, like an oven cleaner. That's what they use for oven cleaning. And since I make this here soap and since I'm a female, and I used to use commercial soaps with lies and with lather. Yeah, they mess with the pH of my vagina all the time. And so I, that's why I created my own soap. This is why I was inspired to do it. They irritated my skin with the toxic ingredients and stuff. So let's think about it. Let's logically think about that lather. What did we have? What did our ancestors have before some genius decided to create a lather, a lie, <laughs> to put in our soap? What did we use before then to, to get uh, clean just like in the foaming in our toothpaste what did we use before then 
Let's think about that. Did we have foam all the time? You think that the the ancestors always had foam in their toothpaste and always had foam in their soap? No, they use oils. Just like the food we talked about earlier, oil pulling. <laughs> oil pulling in the coconut oil. That's the thing that whitens your teeth and freshens your breath. It's just oil pulling. And prior to that, even prior to that, our ancestors didn't have this, this mead and these cold drinks and stuff, right? So they were eating fruit because prior to, um, I guess, the knowledge of the oil pulling process, we were eating healthier diets. And fruits like strawberries and, and our citrus fruits and stuff, they actually take care of cleaning our teeth and keep our breath fresh without toothpaste. So before the soap started setting and before the toothpaste started setting, which was the illusion that we were doing something, we were relying on oils. Mm -hmm. We were relying on those oils. And so that's why my soap does not oil. It's in the proper, I mean, it does not last. It's in the proper pH balance for your skin, though. Guarantee you that. It is not to not one toxic ingredient in there. Guarantee you that. And those oils, back to the coconut oil, the oils are anti-parasitic, antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial. And they work. They mimic the, since it's a pH balance, it's going to mimic the oils that your skin naturally secretes. So instead of stripping you, I'm mimicking your skin. And I'm giving you the minerals that your body needs. It's like a skin detox. Now let's go back to what the skin is. The skin is like a third kidney, right? So your kidneys detox or secrete things, your skin does too. So we want to make sure the integrity of it is in, into part two. So we don't get the eczema, psoriasis, and all of the rosacea type stuff, right? So our skin won't be too, too acidic, but it'll be in its proper range. And also our skin absorbs. So that way, since I'm giving you this here, this nourishment through your skin, this is my thought process on why I created this soap, right? right? Since I'm giving you this nourishment through your skin, now it's penetrating in your body because what you put on you penetrates inside of you. So now that said um, alchemist oil that I put inside of that soap, yeah, now you're getting that alchemist oil in your body because you need it. We all need it, right? Because a lot of us have a lot of yeast and fungus overgrowth in our abdominal cavity. So even when I first began to use and create this soap, I actually used to take a bath, pat myself dry, and then I would put some right here on my chest and my belly and my liver, like, right? Because I wanted it to penetrate even the more. <laughs> I was using it as a lotion, including a soap, so it could penetrate more. Because I used to have irritable bowel syndrome. Right? Remember when I talked to you all about wearing glasses? I don't wear glasses no more. When I used to have irritable bowel syndrome, when I used to get vertigo all the time, when I was anemic, yeah, all of that, all of that, got cured with the things that I sell on my website. I healed myself. That's why I know what you need, because we are one. We're one, especially if you have a hue of skin like me, because you're closer to being like me energetically than others so if i was telling some others that didn't have the hue of skin like me to like go outside they'd be like no i can't taste the sun if i would tell them to leave their milk alone they'll be it'll be like i was sinning against god so to speak because the makeup is a little bit different if i tell them oh no that's shake a little too thick and bloody it's gonna stay in your system too long I'm like no because they can digest it a little bit better but you gotta pay attention to who you listening to and what you absorbing and what's best for you <laughs> and you look like me <laughs> all right let's see um let's see i'm almost 39 days of my fruit jack oh look at you you fruit juice and fasting too i feel so good i'm so happy for you it is a good feeling it really is so much gratitude you're welcome sick of more I used to watch on Facebook, so glad I found you here. I'm happy you found. Okay, okay, well, welcome back. Welcome back, six month fool. Let's see, wife, mom, business owner. Oh, let me follow you. Okay, let's see. I want to hear you cackle. I love you so. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I appreciate that. Can you explain the three oils to use for pulling? Uh, three oils that I spoke of to use for pulling. One was coconut oil. One was um, well. Two of them come together in my product called the Alchemist Oil is what I was saying. The Alchemist Oil is a combination of oregano oil 
and clove oil. Clove is the world's most powerful antioxidant. Oregano, this is the most powerful form of oregano that you will ever find because it's, it's, it's weighed by a um, percentage of a certain ingredient, right? right? And I put them together and it's called the alchemist oil. You only need one drop of the alchemist oil in a teaspoon of coconut oil to all pull with in the morning that'll help you with any teeth issues you can think of. Gender, what's it called? The gender dividers, um, cavities, you know, acids build up, plaque build up, that'll help you fresh breath, uh, the thrash thing, you know, when you have the little yeast on your tongue, it'll help you with all of that. Anything you can think of. But keep in mind, this is for your mouth, just to get immediate situation. But keep in mind, the tongue, if you have the, you know, the white tongue, is a mirror to the stomach. So it's letting you know that something up there is got, they got some yeast up in there too. If you got a thrash on your tongue, you got some yeast up in here. So antifungal is the coconut oil. So after you oil pull and get rid of the toxins and pull them forward that's in that mouth and lift them off that tongue, what I would suggest then is you swallow some, a new fresh batch of the coconut oil to get rid of some of that yeast. And if you purchase the alchemist oil, now you can dilute one drop of your alchemist oil on that new swallow batch of coconut oil and swallow it. Now you have three. Like I said, I go for the game system. You get the skin, you look, you got you got yeast up in there, let's get it out of there. <laughs> let's get it out of there. With the coconut oil, with the avocado, I mean with the um clove oil and with the regular oil. Now you swallowing three of powerful oils to get rid of that yeast, that parasite, that environment that's causing you this ease that's stored it in your gut. Okay, happy, happy new year to you too, baby. Keep it G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace, beautiful. Okay, say the four elements again. Four elements, please. Four elements. <laughs> when you say that, I thought about the elements of the whole universe. You talking about the four things for the coconut oil? Coconut oil, extra virgin, cold press, unrefined, organic coconut oil. Those four things. <laughs> You know what y'all i just thought about y'all asking this question here because y'all not subscribed to my other channel i have another tiktok channel on here it is called goddess just be healthy y'all i just i just thought about that y'all asking this over and over because y'all didn't come over there see there that's what happened when you don't listen <laughs> i'm just teasing but no i do videos i i i have a video of this of how I manipulate my water on there. I have a video about oil pulling. I have a video on there about my soap already. Everything that you're asking over here. So you got to follow my other page. It's called God is Just Be Healthy. I got a video on there of how I stopped wearing my glasses. It's a separate page because I like to come on here and y'all did it on, on live anyway. I like to come on here and talk about mindfulness. That's really what I was talking about in the beginning. I was talking about the new year, new me, and I was talking about how to penetrate through subconscious mind. Then all y'all come over here talking about, wait a minute, what you do with the, what you, what you do with the coconut oil? How you make your water? Y'all done went to health side and I wasn't talking about health. But I, I, it's my passion. I'll talk about it on any channel. It's on mine. But you're missing the good stuff. God is just be healthy on tiktok that's my backup page go over there if you want to continue to learn i always post there matter of fact i just talk the talk on there i post a lot on there i don't really go live on there much i like to go live on this but i just post 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 everything i can think of to help y'all go there and follow that page god is just be healthy let's see please don't forget to post this yeah i'm gonna post this here on um youtube today I will thank you thank you for posting that, that that name god is just be healthy thank you sycamore thank you the wind is drowning your voice out oh i'm sorry about that i'm about to go to the post office let me check these um questions one more time that's how we sound <laughs> this live is under yeah yeah that's how y'all sounded like tell me about the water no and i'm trying to talk about mindfulness just trying to get you to change your mind do you go live in there too? I went a couple of times, but not much at all. You know, um, I like to go live on this particular page here. And if 
hopefully um, allow it to grow a little bit more too. But sometimes, just sometimes. Let's see. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Is black soap made by Afri by the Africans bad? I wouldn't call it bad, but I would say it's hi highly alkaline, and your skin is slightly acidic, like about a five. Black African soap. I used to try that. I mean, like I say, it's almost like that Dr. Bronner's soap, which is high alkaline. It's almost like Dial soap, which is high alkaline. You know, Black African soap have better ingredients in it, but it's still highly alkaline. So anytime when you too highly alkaline on your skin or too acidic on your skin and not in balance of the mimicking oils of your skin, something gonna happen. overworking your skin so if you have like a black african soap that has been manipulated and that you check the ph balance of it with the litmus strips you know and see that it's about a five then yeah you know yeah or better yet if you like sprayed something maybe acidic on your skin and then use the african soap to kind of buffer it down I do I make soap so I know about that and I also teach you how to manipulate the pH on my other channel I taught about making a coconut vinegar spray that you can make at home to clean out your lymphatic system underneath your armpit if you have acne on your face or even on your vagina this one spray that you keep in your shower and it's made of just the coconut vinegar and some spring water with your sodium bicarbonate and your um, See, so keep that in the bathroom spray that keep your that, that, keep that vagina balanced that'll keep that lymphatic system um, flowing and detox underneath your armpit where you put your antiperspirant or your deodorant on and you caking it up that allow it to flow because that that stops your lymphatic system from flowing too when you got a whole bunch of antiperspirant that you've been using forever because you don't want to sweat because you want to keep your toxins inside when the lymphatic system supposed to be making sure you get rid of those toxins yeah, pay attention to that too. <sighs> that's the end. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's Molly Mo. Hey, Molly Mo. What's the other page? The other page is called God is Just Be Healthy. What can you use for dark circles around your eyes? That's because your kidneys, um, are the beginning phase that your kidneys ain't um, filtering. So you need to be using some coconut oil. Oh, look at the pretty dog. You need to use some coconut oil to get rid of some of that lactic acid and that uric acid buildup. You need to be drinking some coconut water too to keep the kidneys dilated. Um, you need to be drinking some grape um, juice, some seeded grape juice. That helps um, with the lymphatic system also. And maybe all of this started from a lifestyle change. You got to figure out what you're consuming so much of that's getting your kidneys, you know, clogged up like that. I don't know what your diet is like, but. Um, something has got you in that situation and so you need to do something different from what you're doing maybe it was too much of meats were which are acidic maybe it's too much of you know your so-called carbs which turn into sugar but lighten up that load over there and incorporate some more fruits and vegetables in your diet and drink some more alkalizing water which also is going to help with your kidneys to filter them better because since your kidneys is so busy trying to get rid of all of them acids from your lymphatic system it's probably burning down there, hence why the coconut oil will benefit you, and hence why the, um, because the coconut oil is anti-inflammatory, and hence why the alkalizing spring water will benefit you too, to be easier on them kidneys while it's trying to filter all of them acids, and them kidneys probably burning, and so that alkaline water with the sodium bicarbonates and that sea salt is really going to help soothe them kidneys and allow you to release, and then you're going to notice them dark spots going to just disappear. Like, oh, look at my eyes. They're kind of puffy underneath there. And they look pinky. Like, oh, they got a little blood flowing. Oh, look at me. Defying um, age. <laughs> okay, so let's move on from that. Uh, Defying. My entire family bathed in it from head to toe, even shampoo, but I thought it was almost natural. Yeah, it really is. Every ingredient in there is natural. It is. And it, it heals your body. 
was canceled. So like I say, I like to go for the gangster stuff. So I was thinking about, okay, I got a, all these organs. I got a thyroid. I got the, you know, the liver. Okay. I got the uh, kidneys. You got, you know, pancreas, all these things. But wait, the skin is the largest organ. So if I can create a soap that will penetrate deeply into my skin. This was during the time that I had irritable syndrome, which I don't have no more. Well, if I could create a soap part there to penetrate in my skin, to heal me via my skin, then it'll penetrate to my other organs because my body all is doing is bribing Peter to pay Paul. And so everything that I needed at that time, I put it in that soap. I need them. That soap is high in magnesium. I know <laughs> because I put it in that soap because I needed that magnesium at one point in my life. You see what I'm saying? And so forth and so forth. Iron. Oh, and iron too. And I was anemic. So iron is plentiful in that soap too you know because i was in the herbs that i use the proprietary blend of herbs that i use are high in iron in that soap because i need it because i was anemic you know and that's how i created it based upon where i was in in that place and so i know it's beneficial and i know it's healing you got to stick with it though you can't i don't think you should just use it just one time i think you should if i if i was trying to sell which i'm not i think you um you should use it more than two months but i'm not trying to sell you over on it i'll say like about two two three months using it and then you go you go while out and you go go back to whatever you think was a good so in your opinion and you go see the difference you go see what your body will revert back to whatever you experience sickness wise skin wise because i know it's a healer but i'm not trying to sell you you know this is my passion i, ain't, I don't do ads and try to sell nobody i don't have to <laughs> let's see what do you suggest for vision improvement that's on my other channel too i talked about stop going to increase that during the my glasses stop right there like when it's time to renew stop getting them higher deeper prescriptions if it's reading glasses wear the glasses to read take them things off stop getting all them pretty little flat frames that go with everything so now you can wear the glasses all day and make it a fashion seat statement because now you walking around with magnifying glass of course you're gonna see better in a magnifying glass because everything is magnified but when you take that magnifying glass off now the things that you used to be able to see you can't see because now your eyesight is weakened your vision is more impaired that's one but the real cause of why you have to wear glasses is because something in that gut your inability to absorb and, and, and um, eliminate has been compromised so you gotta heal that gut that's what I would recommend detoxing I would recommend sustained detox detox get rid of that old fecal matter get rid of them parasites and stuff in there sustained detox is available on my website detox 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 that's gonna be your answer to your acne that's gonna be your answer to, to your eczema your psoriasis your Alzheimer's I'm, I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna just tell you to just do something that's gonna help you with a symptom I'm trying to teach you how to create a lifestyle change that's gonna help you for life so detox first and then on top of that I will stop going back and getting a deeper stronger prescription but it started in your gut and you're gonna have to heal it in your gut it started with your inability to be able to filter them kidneys focus on you know focus on that the things that I'm saying here that's really all that I'm saying here is gonna benefit your kidneys focus on that because that travels to your lymphatic system your lymphatic system is rolling to the kidneys to be released and secreted via your urine start focusing on what's gonna heal my lymphatic system and I'm giving it to you for free that coconut oil water um, that lifestyle change with diet and leaving all of them the, the, the glues alone the breads and impostas and be more on the alkalized range all it is saying to you is just you just gotta experience yourself in a different way god you know already experienced all the acid stage come on over to the alkaline side that's all life is saying to you there's nothing wrong with any state of being you are in even if you have cancer you listen to me right now all he's just saying is that oh hey you a little bit low on this aesthetic range come on back over here to the alkaline range come on on the other side that's all he's saying don't don't think it's, it's a dead dead sentence no and you don't well i don't want to say you don't need this but i would say if it were me i would not be getting no chemo which is more acids to help me heal from an aesthetic range in my body if somebody said that i had the so-called cancer i with the knowledge that i know I go, oh okay i need to up my alkaline side 
I need to change my diet. I need to get these these mucus um, releasing herbs that'll get rid of all this old mucus and this old acid that is hard for my lymphatic system to get out. And so that means my lymphatic system is clogged up. I gotta help my lymph. I gotta start jumping up and down. I gotta start rebounding. I gotta take little walks. I gotta get my body in motion and help release this stagnated energy inside of me. That's what I would be saying. Oh, I just bought some alchemist oil from your site. Thank you, babe. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Let's see. Where can coconut oil be purchased? Coconut oil could be purchased at Whole Foods store at Amazon. Just as long as it's for. Now, um, I saw it years ago at Sam's in a big bottle. You could do a big old bottle. You need to get a big old bottle. Because everybody in the family needs to get some coconut oil in their life. I'm so serious. I, I tell my boys, I tell my boys, hey, you had coconut oil? When was the last time you had some? Just come on, go ahead, get some. Get, or I'll even bring it to them. Here, here goes some coconut oil. Swallow this. <laughs> because we need it. We should be consuming it. So go to Sam's. They might have some at Walmart. But you just make sure they have those four things. Organic, unrefined, cold pressed, extra virgin coconut oil. Don't get the cheap kind. Get, get get a good kind. You are so welcome. Hey, that kilo. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's pretty much everywhere. Yeah. How many days do you recommend for juice fasting? For juice fasting, it depends upon your tolerance. You know, I don't already did the three, the five, the seven, the fourteen, the fifteen, the thirty. Now I'm on a 90 day phase. Right now, as we speak, I'm on a 90 day phase. And what's today? Today is like the 2nd of January or something? Let's see, November, December. So I'm like 62 days in. Today is 62. 62 days of my 90 day phase. Um, but it depends upon your tolerance. So I started low. You know, I started when I was fasting. And when I first started fasting, I started like um three day fast with water. And I don't even remember if that was reverse osmosis water, which I'm so against. But I grew and I learned, you know. And so the next fast I did with water. Then I started incorporating my pink Himalaya sea salt, right? Right? Because I was learning and growing. Then the next fast I did, I guess I was at the, the seventh day, the seven or the fifteen day phase, maybe that time. Then I started putting my pink Himalaya and my sodium bicarbonate. Now I'm all the way at a 90 day phase and I'm doing my coconut oil. I'm doing my water with my um, pink, Himalaya sea salt, pink Himalaya sea salt and sodium bicarbonate. I do my grape juice. I do my coconut water. I do my um, cherry juice and I do herbal teas. My sustained detox, a herbal tea. And so now I feel like all of those fasts were purposeful in the sense that as I grew with doing them, I got to deeper and deeper levels. So now this fast, this is actually the first fast that I ever done with the education and knowledge that I now have, where I really see that my urine is releasing sediments. Like my urine, this is how you know your fast and your lymphatic system is being cleaned out because there's gonna be some sediments in your urine. So your urine, let's say for example, you use the bathroom, you urinate it, and you turn around and you look at your urine. It's going to be in the smaller part of the toilet, like right, you know, where the hole to go down to flush. Your urine gonna be down there, and it's gonna be darker, and you're gonna see like little lines, like um, almost like, kind of like it's cloudy, so to speak. That's your sediments. That's letting you know that your kidneys is filtering by how you look at it, and by the fact that now your urine is dark. So when you were on a fast and you done opened up your kidneys, you done dilated them kidneys by coconut water, you're going to see it in the toilet. You're going to know because now your kid, now your urine is going to be dark and it's going to have sediments. If your urine just clear and it is sitting at the top of the toilet by the ring, your, your, your acid's not coming out. That's pretty much what it's telling you. Clear urine ain't, oh no, babe. You might think clear is good, but no. That means them kidneys ain't functioning. One of them was a little weak. They ain't releasing. 
So this is why coconut oil and coconut water is going to help dilate that and help them sediments come out. You got to see this. You need to see this. When you After you urinate, you need to turn around and take a peek. They also have little lipids papers that let you know, you know, if your urine is a site too acidic or too alkaline or whatever, you know. You don't have to go through all of that if you just turn around and take a look at it. When you take a look at it and it's darker and it's sitting at the bottom and you look like you see a little like sediment inside of it. Like um like almost like when you almost like when you mix oil and water together, like right? You kinda like see like a haze, like a film, like you know what the separation is. That's the kind of sediments that I'm talking about. Since I've been on this 90 day fast, man, it, I know this stuff, how how it works. But it tripped my head out when I turned around one day and I saw my urine dark. You know, like a uh, like a tan color, like, right? I'm like, God dang. And that was the day that I had a bunch of young coconuts. I'm like, dang, look at this. Look at all this stuff coming out. This fast is really penetrating deeper than any other fast. You can feel it also when you're drinking certain things. When you feel that inflammation subsiding when you swallow that coconut oil. And you go, that's information. You're going to urinate that out. <laughs> so, yeah, as far as the number of days, do what feels good to you. Don't overdo it. Don't be like them church people lying about their 40 day phase and stuff. Because who you lying to, you really just lying to yourself. Recommended days, I would say at least maybe 14 days. Because you keep in mind, when you stop eating, though, when you stop eating, your body now has, like, oh my God, yes. No chicken, no sodas, no bread, no so-called carbs. Now we can get rid of the old crap that she has in here or he has in here. Hey guys, let's clean house. Now your immune system is free because 80% of your immune system lies in gut. Now you got 80% of your immunity eating away at all that stuff. That the, the fat deposits that it was building to save your life and tucking stuff in the corner, now I can go tackle that. You might feel a little hungry. All you gotta do is take some coconut oil while it's doing that. Keep taking your coconut oil and help it out. And let it clean house. But your body can't clean no house if you constantly eating breakfast, lunch, and, diff and dinner, a different animal for each time. It can't really clean house. And so while you're not eating on your bags, what's happening is your body, your immunity, your eating with them. and all of that sickness and disease in your body now your body is in gangster healing mode right when you go to sleep you're gonna have the best quality of sleep because why when you sleep you're on a phase and so now that you're not eating and putting all kind of stuff for your immune system to be breaking up you ain't eating up when you sleep you're gonna be in a whole nother realm it's gonna be the best quality of sleep that you have in your life because your body was really detoxing it was really helping you on a cellular level save your life because <laughs> it has everything that you that it needs to do that but we be altering it by uh, preventing our body from being able to absorb we we'll be consuming all of this fast food all of these so-called carbs and all of these dead animals all day long all of these so-called aesthetic drinks cold drinks Hawaiian punches with this high fructose corn syrup which tricks our brain into thinking that we're hungry when we're really full this malt dextrin ingredient that's in those potato chips some white uh, salts that's in those potato chips the toxic salt that's been stripped of all of these minerals so we eat the potato chips we got malt dextrin in there we got white salt up in there tearing our kidneys up that's God forbid we on a pill like um let's see a, I don't know a high blood pressure pill and we take that that's tearing up the kidneys too you know, like, it's just so much habit. Less is so much more. When I get off this fast, I I was only eating once a day. Anyway, I don't even know if I'm going to be eating that. I'm going to be drinking a lot more. Because we, we being too hard on our body. Our body, it's like a computer. Like, I mean, come on now. You keep on downloading all kind of crap. You're going to get a virus on that thing. That thing going to be like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't working today. Uh-uh. You're doing too much. <laughs> okay, let me say. I stopped wearing my glasses and drinking bilberry leaf tea. Oh, okay. Trying to heal it. Okay. That's what's up. I'm so proud of you. 
What if you're on dialysis? If you're on dialysis, hi Piper. You're on dialysis. So the dialysis is just filtering for you your kidneys. So you could help it. I'm not saying to stop, but help it. Wow. Like for the people that have high blood pressure, I ain't saying throw your high blood pressure pill away today. I ain't saying to stop your dialysis today. But I'm saying while you're on it, build up to the place where you can get up off of it. So this won't be something you have to do for the rest of your life. So you people that's on the dialysis, you definitely need to use some coconut oil. You definitely need to use some coconut water. I'm telling you to dilate those kidneys, to allow those kidneys to filter. When you ain't on that dialysis, you go home and you this need to be your drink of choice. And you also need you some alkalized water. And you have to pay attention to your diet. You can't be eating no bloody meat right now. You can't be talking about you want you want you a hot sausage sandwich. Uh uh. No, you can't. Uh uh. You can't be in a lot of a lot of you all drink alcohol too. You can't be down and no fifth and stuff. Come on, it's a lifestyle change. You gotta give that up for a point in time at least to save yourself. To get you to a more alkaline state of being. Because when you like, I wanna talk about that for a minute too. Alcohol strips you. Spiritually, it'll strip you of the Lord to part of you, but we ain't, we ain't on the spiritual side. Y'all want to eat the health side. It's physical. Physically, when you take pills or drink alcohol, I'm talking about medication pills and drinking alcohol and eating sugar, these three things, you have successfully depleted your body of magnesium. Magnesium. Now, you go, you talk to them cancer patients. They have magnesium below. You could even, you being on dialysis, you magnesium low. And they'll tell you, oh, you need D3. You need, but it ain't going to work without magnesium, though. So when you drinking alcohol, back to the alcohol um, point, you're stripping yourself of magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ of the body. So those of you who are trying to create a new lifestyle and be like, oh, you only live once. I had to have fun. I'm about to go down this fifth. Or whatever you say when you want to drink well what you're really doing is depleting yourself of magnesium depleting yourself of magnesium instantly now where you gonna get it from especially if you don't have a healthy lifestyle what, what you gonna do now hmm? stop depleting yourself of magnesium your heart really needs magnesium your kidneys need magnesium every organ in the body needs magnesium and when you drinking in your white sugar, buy magnesium. Buy when you popping that high blood blood pressure pill, buy magnesium, buy potassium. Guess where you could replenish it at? Coconut oil is high in potassium. Coconut oil has magnesium. My soaps are high in magnesium. I put magnesium salts in my soap too. Come on now, it's ways you can get it when you really determined to do the lifestyle change. But if you ain't ready. You stay in that state of being but for a dialysis person highly suggest coconut oil highly suggest coconut water highly suggest grape um seeded grape juice find them find them they're there they're probably not at walmart but they probably at your local asian market because them asian people they have all of those seeded fruits up in here i found the asian market out here and i found heaven on earth out here they have the they have the sour side fruits up in there. They got the seeded grapes up in there. They got the seed watermelon. You can find them, but that's when you're really sick and tired of going to Walmart. I don't even shop at Walmart. Stop going to that place. Go to the Asian markets. Go to the, the international markets. Go to them little Mexican markets. That's where you see this stuff at. You need to be eating stuff with seeds, with life force, the gangster stuff, key limes. If you have dialysis key limes a little splash of key lime inside of one bottle of your water a day key limes they also help you get rid of lactic acid and uric acid build up too they also help to feel filter your blood too for those people that are on dialysis key limes pay attention to what you're putting in your mouth dialysis patient and pay attention to what you're putting on your skin because that that goes to your lymphatic system too and your lymphatic system is really really precious so they have this these, these little scented soaps these little hawaiian luau's and and smelling like the 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 a peach and a berry and all of this here but it's full of toxic ingredients and when you put that on your skin 
that's got to has to be filtered by your kidneys. So, so, so Diana's people out there don't don't just pay attention to the fact that oh, I gotta eat healthier. Yo, you gotta you gotta stop putting that perfume on your skin too. You gotta you gotta chill out on constantly getting them perms in your head too. You know, start waiting if you a perm type person. Start waiting a couple extra weeks to get the perm. Let that little new girl be there for a little while because it's penetrating your skin, which is the largest organ. What you put on you penetrates inside of you, and it all has to be filtered some way. And what's filtering? Your kidney. And if you're on a dialysis, that means your kidney have a hard time filtering because it's, it's backed up. Okay? I hope that helps. That's the beginning stage of helping you, babe. Um, let's see. What do I do with I talked about that. Hey, Purpose. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Those big old Sam's jaws. Yeah. Yep. They be in big old jaws at Sam's. Now you covered. Now you covered. The whole family covered if you get those coconut oils from Sam. What would you do if you were on dialysis? If I was, I would go on immediate juice fast. I would have a juice fast, the same kind of fast that I'm on now. I ain't on no dialysis. I ain't got no sickness and disease. But the same fast that I'm on now, I would, I would follow. If I was you out there, I would, when I get off of this here page, I would, well, first of all, I'd be asking all the questions that I could from somebody that had been through some things and that looked like me too. <laughs> Then I will get off this page and then I will go and I will look at all of her videos on that Goddess Just Be Healthy page if I was you. Because that's the kind of stuff I do. Oh, she knows something. I think she knows something. So I'm going to listen to what she got to say. Then not only would I be a hearer, but I'll be a doer and I'll start doing those things. And I'll start paying attention to my body because I, I'm, I'm passionate about what I do. I'm not doing this here for money. I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm living my life. I got my affirmations that came forward to my physical reality. I have good health. I have the things that I want. <laughs> so I would follow somebody like that. And I would do what they're saying. And I just told you everything. I'm telling you everything. Oh, and I have no evidence of my injuries. Information. Yeah. Information. Going back to information. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is the gangster for information. You can try um ginger too. Ginger is really good for information. But coconut oil, you put put both of them together. You know, make power packed gangster um herbal treatments for yourself. You know? Put the coconut oil in your in and ginger in a tea, in a herbal tea. You know, be creative with it. You know the coconut oil and you know ginger is anti-inflammatory. Now you got two powerful anti-inflammatories. The herbal choice could be anti-inflammatory too. You could do like a um, holy basil herb, herbal tea. Fresh holy basil that you got from a tree. Sometimes they even have the little um, trees in the in the front of Walmart or at Trader Joe's. You could buy that. So now, now you're not stressed because holy basil is anti-depressant. Um, and so and anti-inflammatory in itself so that's one anti-inflammatory you got two anti-inflammatory with coconut oil then you squeeze up some ginger juice and put in there or better yet when i used to consume ginger i would cut it in quarter sizes and i would chew it but i wouldn't swallow the the, the pulp right i would chew it and then i'll just swallow my um tea behind it and i'll spit out the pulp of the ginger because all i wanted was the juice the juice is really what i needed start there to help with your inflammation that's what i would do that's what i would do because I, I got to a point in my physical reality like i told my doctor and it's a god on the street i told that lady years ago i said look lady i'm about to get up out of here she's like oh well, what are you going to do miss Rie? like i don't know but i ain't listen to you no more i don't know i have no idea what i'm about to do lady but you not about to be having me up here like no lab rat because she was, she was just, she was just. Hey, try this for your irritable bowel syndrome. Hey, try this. Here. And when I used to ha have iron issues, they used to give me a little green peel. I forget the name of this little green peel for my little, little iron because I was anemic. And when I used to see that little green peel in the toilet after I had a bowel, just in the toilet, I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> that made me feel like I ain't have no hope. Like you know, that was supposed to be the way, way that I was getting iron, and it's in the toilet. Now what I'm gonna do? And she was prescribing one thing or another and and then she started asking me was i stressed out at work so she could give me antidepressants see when them doctors don't know how what to give you to heal you then your age is crazy i was like ma'am I'm, I'm getting out of here i don't know what i'm gonna do i have no idea but i realized that day that you never asked me nothing about what i was eating 
you never said nothing about how, my health or whatever. You just won't give me a pill, 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 pill. I ain't taking no more damn pills, lady. And before I left, and I was like, she was trying to prescribe me. I think it was called something Z Zoloft, I think. Some like, kind of antidepressant. Don't mock me on that. I think it was called Zoloft. Anyway, when she said, when she said she was trying to give me that, I was like, even before I go, you take that off of my chart. Because if I have to come back up in here, I don't want these people to be looking at me like I'm some kind of crazy person. I came up here for help. And now I'm crazy all of a sudden? No. I'm weak. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm tired. Something ain't right. I feel something ain't right. But that's what I did. That's just me, though. That's always been me. I, I want to know the answer. Don't play with me. Give me some damn answers. Got time for that. Let's see. Please help. I need information for those minerals. Yeah, so with um, these styles, <sighs> if you need minerals, first you got first detox. You have, you're getting minerals. We're all getting minerals. Detox, sustain detox. It's on my website. My website link is in the bio. Start here. Get rid of the old fecal matter first. Unclog those exit pathways first. Because you don't want to start incorporating, 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 and you ain't released. See, the coconut oil and coconut water, that's going to help you release through the kidney. But in that gut, you got to release some of that old fecal matter, some of that parasites and things like, you know, that's left behind. So get rid of that. And once you get going on a fast and get going on some fruits and stuff, get going on some coconut oils. Once you get going on those things that are really helping you release, because our fruits, the acetic fruit, that when we consume it like key lines, for example, it's acetic in your mouth. But when it gets inside of you, it turns into an alkaline ash, making your insides alkaline. Key lines by itself will tear up your teeth. You should consume it with like a straw, right? So you're downing some key lines, but it's helping you get rid of lactic acid. It helping It's helping you get rid of uric acid. When you open up the pathway to get rid of those things via your kidney, now you can start incorporating those minerals, like your sea moss is like, right? Because you you able to absorb it now but if you have a whole bunch of old fecal matter sitting on top of there then you could that's just like the people that take you know pills from the doctor that's supposed to be helping them they ain't penetrate they ain't feeding it that's like some people that'll take maybe sea moss and be like mm, we ain't do nothing i just felt full i felt stuff because the min minerals ain't penetrating because they full of crap literally we be full of it so i would recommend releasing first with a detox first and then start incorporating more minerals and stuff. Or you'll realize that you're getting your minerals after you do that. Yeah, and you're going to lose a lot of weight. Yeah, when taking over your voice almost. Oh, let me bring the phone in the call. I've been intermittent fasting for two years. Only eat four hours a day. Oh, that's beautiful. Start eating clean. Definitely. I just came on first time. Oh, welcome, babe. Let's see. You drink that tea every day. Oh, okay. My favorite flower. Oh. What if you work out and lift? What would you advise? If you work out, same thing I would advise if, if you're sitting on your butt, they're coconut at all. Matter of fact, a lot of people that I know that work out in the gym use um, coconut oil, uh, including my boys, as a pre-workout because it's healthy fats that they could burn, healthy calories that they could burn when they're up in the um, gym. And inflammation, you building up lactic acid build up when you're in the gym working out, working your muscles. And so now you got your amino acids and you're getting rid of the lactic acid buildup that you're creating because your cells, okay, so just in case you don't know, your cells, your cells create waste called cellular waste. Just like, okay, so when you eat, you have waste, right? You have waste from what, you know, the minerals that you don't absorb. It's called waste and it comes out via your bowel. But when you move your body, like I'm doing right this here, right here, guess what? I'm building up lactic acid. Okay, so I'm building up. There's cells in here. Cellular waste. Cellular waste has to be eliminated just by me doing this here. Am I losing y'all? God darn it. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Okay, good. So just by me doing this here, cellular waste is being built up. Cellular waste. You got to get rid of that. You got to get rid of that. And that's three kidneys. So if you talking about you work out, you definitely need some coconut oil for that information. You definitely need magnesium. Maybe magnesium soaks, magnesium flake bath. It's a 
because your body that soreness that you're feeling or if you get stiff that's the depletion of magnesium because we're not even supposed to be getting sore like when I work out I don't even get sore no more because my magnesium is up to par and my kidneys are working and I'm getting rid of all of that lactic builds up so that's what I would recommend for you magnesium flakes they sell those on Amazon and coconut oil if you're lifting definitely a game changer better workouts okay yeah so magnesium magne they have magnesium flakes available on Amazon is in a blue is in a blue bag is the white the white flakes you can start bathing with that you know to get magnesium to penetrate inside of your skin once again skin is the largest organ what you put on you penetrate inside of you so take maybe a cup of magnesium and put it in your back water and just soak it in this ain't about you washing your booty and all that it's about you soaking it in the back later but take a soak to allow that magnesium to penetrate inside of you okay yeah good perfect so my backup page yes it's gotta just be healthy Magnesium vitamins, yeah, that'll be good. There's so many different, different types of magnesium, but that'll be that'll be good. Just as long as you're getting the magnesium inside of you, you also get magnesium from your food. If you're eating any type of something green, even if it's just your chopped up um, green peppers, your um, green onions, you get magnesium. They got a magnesium in there. Your holy bees, so you get magnesium. It's the ability to absorb that internally. Is what I was talking about. So if you're not absorbing it internally. Bypass that and put some in your back water to go on your skin, and your skin gonna absorb it because your skin is going to deliver it where you need it the most. That's how your body works. It's infinite intelligence. So for those of you who have it clogged up within, the purpose of me saying to do the magnesium um, soap outside of the person that was working out is the fact that it could get in your skin and penetrate that way. Okay. All right, a good place to get sea moss. Go to Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com and look for somebody. You can tell where they are by looking, going to their shop and tell that they're in the island somewhere. Go for somebody that's around, you know, Jamaica or whatever and that's selling sea moss on Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com and buy from them. Don't buy some from somebody locally per se. Cause they probably going through somebody that's out there that's around the waters where the sea i mean where the sea moss is being you know pick, picture picked at okay can you speak about alopecia aesthetic same thing it's all acids so it's just different location once you clean up and get on the alkaline side things be better in the meantime you can spray if you look if you go follow my um other page god is just be healthy i teach you how to make a spray out of um coconut vinegar and the spring water and you can spray that on the head where you're losing the hair at open up the uh, follicles get the ph level of that um scalp back in range stop using probably the old shampoos that probably didn't contribute to health and wellness and use better ones i have a shampoo and conditioner called be cleansing conditioner use that instead um what else so it's so, oh also when you spray in that um apple why am i saying apple coconut vinegar solution that i'm making on the other video when you spray in that that's getting rid of fungus that's giving you the amino acids that's clearing up this penetrated in your head getting rid of the other acid build up underneath the skin right there that's getting rid of the dandruff anything that could be stopping your hair from growing would help by spraying that coconut vinegar on that head and using another um, brand of shampoo while changing that diet and clearing up that inability to absorb and eliminate that it all, where it all started from Cause that's gonna be the key to whatever you got you got the gout start with your gut you got you blind in one eye or you keep getting glasses start with your gut it all i promise you starts in the gut and when the gut gets so compromised your body is almost saying look girl i ain't got time to make sure that you can see i ain't got time for that i'm up in here wilding out with all this stuff you eating i ain't got time for you your feet 
you have no doubt your your stomach got a hole in it you got leaky gut i'm trying to save that so you go back to the source which is in your gut how it got in your gut you put it in your mouth who gonna have to change that you the lifestyle change you be the change okay all right i gotta go to the um the post office and drop off these orders god is just be healthy is the name of my tiktok page follow that if i were you i would look at all of them videos because i ain't over there playing around and no hip thrusting and all that i'm just telling y'all what you need to do to get a better quality of life book a consultation on my website southbeardpub.org if you need help with spirituality dreams um quantum jumping reprogramming your your past childhood trauma all that good stuff i can help you with that as well with consultations i do mentorship this video will be uploaded to my youtube channel just in case you missed it because i know um i probably missed a couple of questions or whatever anyway i'm going to the post office and then i'm going to hang out you like chia seeds uh yeah i like him seeds better though yeah but they're good they're good but i'm gonna upload this here um video to my youtube channel once again this video was from my heart to yours be blessed babe